Welcome to a new episode of Selling Cypress and today we're in Limassol Marina in a private gated development of 35 luxury island villas where you can drive in from one door and sail away from another. Yes, you have your private door for up to 60 meters luxury yacht right at your doorstep. Wow, this is something very promising. Let's go and check it out guys. So welcome into this absolutely stunning villa. And before we start, take a look at this door. Very traditional Cypriot design. You have a small windows and this beautiful double ceiling at the entrance with an absolutely stunning light. This already gives me so many good vibes. I love this traditional Cypriot Mediterranean style. This villa is very, very special. So it's located on a plot of 644 square meters with a total covered area of 511 square meters. We have a central heating, air conditioners in every room, 24-7 security, VRV systems and so much more. And this villa is super Cypriot in style but contemporary at the same time. Yeah. I'm loving all the furnishings, it really is quite welcoming. Let's start the uh, tour in the kitchen. So we have an open plan kitchen, dining and living area. Take a look at this beautiful minimalistic kitchen with an actual artwork on the wall. I quite like this idea. We have dual windows to give you the daylight, plenty of storage underneath. Bosch integrated appliances, so we have a hob, the extractor fan, the microwave and the oven and dishwasher here on our side. Plenty of storage on the island with the breakfast area on the outside. Very lovely, practical and good looking kitchen, isn't it? Yeah, I like the two tone as well, use of wood finish and the white kind of countertops make yes. it really, really nice. It just goes really light and clean isn't yeah, it really good together which then lends us nicely into the dining area very stately vibe of the dining area beautiful six seater dining table even though we have plenty of space for even larger table a beautiful side table giving you an additional storage if you want to keep your kitchenware here or a dinerware i love this entire area the lights, the height of the ceiling. This is so cozy, so lovely. Yeah, these ceilings are over three meters high. Just gives you that added feel of space. And with all that natural daylight flooding through these windows. And lovely you're afternoon really sun. really benefiting from all that sun beyond into the Limsol docks. I really like it. It's such serene serenity. So that's the dining area. Yes, let's move on to the sitting living area. Again, we have an access to the outdoor terrace through the rather large sliding glass doors. I love the curtains. I love the lights over this area. It just gives you this grandiose feel. It feels like you're in a mansion. The furniture is very cozy, inviting. This whole vibe just gives me the feel like welcome home. You arrived, relax, have a glass of wine maybe. Yeah, it's a really welcoming weird. home. And I'm also loving the use of arches throughout this villa as well. It really is nice, typically Cypriot as well. So Marina, before we leave the living area, we also have a powder room on this floor. Yes, we have a small powder room, very nicely tucked away at the entrance. Love the whole feel of it. Very, very nice and cozy looking as the entire villa. So we've got three bedrooms on this floor. Let's yes. start off with bedroom four. Bedroom four, currently serving as the office, but again, it's a very good size of a bedroom. Take a look at this desk. I love this whole rustic style. Very, very chic. This French window style aged mirrors. Just the whole feel, so cozy, so lovely. The curtains, the details, everything just speaks comfort, style, elegance. And of course, plenty of the wardrobes if you will use it as an actual bedroom. Yeah, but I do quite like this setup as like a study office, a work Very from nice. home, perfect room to be spending those working days rather than having to go to the office. So, 
from bedroom four, we've got bedroom three, and then we'll quickly show you the family bathroom for yes. these two bedrooms. So bedroom three, very cozy. Take a look at this lovely king size bed. Plenty of wardrobes, very high ceiling. I just can't get over the lights in this villa. They are the piece of the art by themselves. Each bedroom has some sort of the art on their walls and the wallpapers. This is the first where we see the wallpapers. Love it. Yeah, and I also like the fact that this room has got dual aspect windows. Yes. Gives you that nice added extra feel of space with the natural daylight coming in, the wardrobes finished off in a very nice matte white. Yeah. So from bedroom three, let's have a look at the family bathroom. So here we have a very sizable shower, plenty of storage under the sink, very big mirror. And as you can see, we even have a window to give you an additional fresh air and the daylight. Very nice finish. Also, I love this continuation of the shiny tiles from the walls into the floor. Very, very beautiful looking. Yeah, really nicely bathroom. selected tiling that the developers put into this home. So, from bedrooms three, four, and the family bathroom, we've got a set of stairs that takes yeah. us down into bedroom two. Bedroom two with an end suite, beautiful finish. Take a look at these walls, the structure. I just blown away by the quality of the product. The designer team did an absolutely outstanding job to fully benefit every bedroom. It's so warm, so cozy. And our example of a stunning king size bed, plenty of creamy or white wardrobes, beautiful double windows. This one has a direct access to the outdoor garden and pool area, which we'll show you a little bit later. Literally, you can get out of this bed and jump into the Walk <laughs> maybe 12 feet and you're in your own boat ship, yacht, whatever you want to call it. Lovely. Oh, you know what? Weekends were made to be in this home. So, from the bedroom into the ensuite for the bedroom too. Again, very good, sizable ensuite. We have a window giving you daylight and the fresh air. Each bathroom has a grog bathroom accessories. Very good size of a mirror, plenty. It's huge amount of storage under the sink and the floating toilet. Very bougie looking bathroom, isn't it? Yes, very, very nice. So that's bedrooms three, four, and two. But we're going to take you downstairs to the lower ground. ground living area. Marina, rather than taking the stairs, let's why go don't down. you take the lift, take us down to the lower ground, and yes. we will pick I will up see you down the there. tour from there. Wow, that was truly luxurious experience. And now we are on a lower ground floor, which potentially could be a separate annex because it has so much potential. Take a look at this second lounge area. So cozy, so beautiful. Country rustic style in the furniture and the entire design just gives you such a cozy feeling and you have a direct access to the one of the outdoor terraces. I really do like this lower ground living space. And uh, if you're not going to use this for a separate lounge, you've got a man cave in the making down here with all the rooms that are off it. Or a bar. Yeah, or the bar, etc. Or maybe a pool table a in the middle. In here. So from the downstairs lounge. living room out to the, the terrace terrace that you've got here which is really nice so you could potentially have here the sitting outdoor area or maybe you have a small table tennis gaming tables you still have your daylight even though this is the lower ground floor the access to the pool and garden area such a lovely place and we also have a separate access to one of the plus bedrooms which are on this lower ground floor so this is one of two plus two bedrooms. It is set as a bedroom. We have a king size bed, plenty of wardrobes. Very, very nice. The sun is a bit down at the moment, but you actually have plenty of daylight in this bedroom. Yeah, so although we told everyone this is a four bed villa, it is a plus two. So, so you do have an option to put in two, maybe even three bedrooms down here because you'll Easily. see the fact that this is super flexible in terms of the use of space. Yeah. And it's got its own ensuite. Yes, it also has a very nicely finished ensuite with a walk-in shower, very sizable shower. Take a look how massive this shower is. Your towel rail, 
love this finish. It's a different shade of a creamy brown color of the tiles going from the walls continuously on to the floor. I love these white frame mirrors, they're so funky. The whole vibe is very, very cozy and So big warm. thumbs up for bedroom six down here. A multi-use, multi-purpose two rooms. So you could potentially use these two as a gym and maybe a yoga studio or an extra office. So many options. We have air conditioners here, we have a central heating and we have a powder room in between two rooms. This could even be maybe a maid's room. A gym and a yoga studio I think is definitely, definitely something that we would do if we were here. But the fact that you could also have a living maid that would have their own bedroom and area so they can yes. have use of their own sitting room. Plenty of space. Yeah, plenty of space. Let's continue because we have additional rooms. So this room could definitely serve as another office or an extra storage. I would use as an office. Yes. Into one more bedroom. On this the is another plus one bedroom. So we have a window here giving you a daylight. It is set as a bedroom. So you can have maybe potentially here a nanny or a live-in maid. Apart from the wardrobes, which are already fitted into this plus one bedroom, we have an additional room for extra storage. So much storage in this villa is absolutely blown away. It's a and little bedroom, here's the ensuite. Yes, it has an ensuite, so it is perfect for the individual living if you would think of potentially making it as an annex. Massive size of a walk-in shower, very good size of a sink with plenty of storage underneath. As I said, love these mirrors, they're very funky. Very beautiful finish, high quality everywhere. Yeah, so basically we are six bedrooms. Yes. A second living room down here. And that's not it. Still, we're continuing because we have more storage on this floor. So let's have a quick look. A massive utility room. Here we have a Bosch washing machine and a tumble dryer. Plenty of covers. And we have a sink. This has also potential to turn it into the kitchenette if you would consider the lower ground as a separate individual annex. Yeah, and a little bit more storage space yes. next door to that laundry room. Again, look, shelving. already fitted shelving, so you could potentially keep here your suitcases or Christmas tree decorations. All the Christmas stuff could go in here. So that is the lower ground floor and I think you'll see again if we look at the living room area the sheer size of it. It is massive. This is over 200 square meters of the lower ground floor. Yeah, How so it's, big is it? So People's Marina, house is a smaller size than this. We are this. going to wrap up this tour on the first floor. Are on the master take bed. the lift or the stairs? No, I'll take the, the stairs. stairs. Take a look. There's a beautiful stair, so I will see you upstairs okay. on the first floor. This is the stairs dwarf <laughs> taken. Take a look at this absolutely stunning marble stairs, very traditional. Very high ceilings with the windows giving you the daylight. Of course, the lift if you want to cut on your steps. And an absolute masterpiece of the master bedroom. Wow! Before we walk in, just a quick look into the walk-in wardrobe with a daylight so you could actually fit here a vanity. So much potential, plenty of storage for your clothes. Love it! But we're going to show this big wire factor because this is the only bedroom on this floor and it's a stunning bedroom at us, the master it bedroom. Brief taken. It took my breath away. How stunning, how beautiful, how cozy this master bedroom is. So we have dual French doors loading the whole bedroom with the daylight. We have an access to the outdoor terraces only for the master bedroom. Stunning light again. A very funky looking wallpaper, a super keen size bed. This bedroom has not one but three terraces oh. with access to two of them here from the bedroom and that view that you're going to be waking up to every day. Yes. Open up the curtains, you're straight out onto the Mediterranean, Limassol, Marina. It is 
stunning. This right. room will never feel dark with yes. the sunlight that comes into it. Before we walk out, shall we have a quick look at the ensuite bathroom? Yeah, because, because that the is, bathroom is for something. Us. Look at the size of it. Wow! Loaded with the daylight thanks to the dual windows. We have a very sizable walk in shower, bathtub with beautiful finish of the glossy tiling on the walls and the floor. Massive storage under the sink, my favorite mirror, and ta -da! another great example of bidet and the yeah. toilet. Well, we saw this with a developer a couple of weeks ago, and it's really nice to see it's in all their homes. Yes. That we're very, to. very thoughtful. Bidet is a big game changer, isn't it? Yeah, so really nice ensuite to this master bedroom. Marina, let's have a look outside onto these beautiful terraces. <sighs> Welcome to your paradise. Take a look at the sun. Just as the sun is starting to go down after four o'clock here in Limassol. Yes, it we are in November. Gorgeous. But take a look at this. How gorgeous. The view, the breeze, the feel, the size of these one of three terraces. So much potential. You could have a garden here. You can have a seating area. Here you could potentially have another barbecue if you wanted. So much space, so much potential. The view is to die for, absolutely stunning. Yeah, you got the view of Limassol Marina, just over Marina's shoulders in the background there. Downtown Limassol as well yes. on that side. So up here you get the east and west view. And in the south, look, you can just see the uh, little lighthouse. What a serene, beautiful scenery up here. Yeah. I love it. So Marina, these are two of the terraces. Yes, we have one more. We've got Let's one more. Let's quickly go to another one. So at the entrance to this floor, we have one more door for your another terrace. How cool is that? You have a double level extra terrace with another view. Wow, guys. Could it get any better? This is absolutely stunning. This is very, very private. You yeah, know, there it's are a prime only location. 35 villas on this man-made island and it gives you privacy wherever you stand on it. So, Marina, that's the main living area of this villa. Let's head downstairs to the outdoor social space and wrap yeah. up this property tour. We will see you downstairs. And we are back on the ground floor. Wow, guys, take a look at this absolutely stunning outdoor terrace. This is something special. The view is absolutely spectacular. This whole terrace gives me the vibes of a very bougie Mediterranean five-star hotel. So we have a beautiful outdoor dining area with a stunning eight-seater table. Very inviting looking. I can picture so many beautiful meals taking part right here. And of course, this Mediterranean afternoon sun. Ah, oh, this is so pleasurable. All I need is a glass of sangria and I could stand here for hours. Well, maybe actually sit in this beautiful sitting outdoor area. This is calling your name, isn't it, honey? This is called my name long ago. I love the fact that this terrace outside is west facing. You're always gonna get that beautiful sunshine that Cyprus brings you nearly every day of the year and sipping away your sangria, wine, beer, whatever, you are gonna feel like you're in heaven. So from the up terrace. floor living area, let's head downstairs to the pool and the barbecue area. So now we're here on the barbecue area where we potentially have enough space for your another outdoor dining area and of course your barbecue station with plenty of storage underneath and the natural stone worktop with the sink and the lantern so if you're cooking in the after sun hours you will still have plenty of light to finish your cooking and of course the beautiful mature landscaped garden the whole vibe here you just want to stop and literally smell the roses because hey we have the rose bushes here speaking of the star of this outdoor area is this stunning private pool how cool is that yeah i love that infinity pool calling our names but what really is the jewel of this villa because you are on a man-made island is the fact that you have your own berth for your up to 60 meter long yacht 
our motorboat. <laughs> this has got our names written all over it. I'm loving it. Yes, this is luxury on the whole new level. So if you guys are interested, we still have two out of 35 luxury island villas available for sale. This villa comes with four plus two bedrooms and suite bathrooms, central heating, VRV systems, air conditioners, 24-7 security, your private berth for up to 60 meters long luxury yacht, and so much more. It is on the market at the moment for 9.6 million euro plus VAT. If you would like to know more, please don't hesitate to contact us. Give us a comment, write us a direct message, write us an email on info at sellingcyprus.com. If you like this kind of videos, please consider subscribing, give us some love and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.